This is my tattoo tour series, part two. Hi there, Electric Linda here. I am back with my tattoo tour and uh, I've made this into a series. So the last time I had the part one and this is the part two where I show you my tattoos from 11 to 20. And uh, yeah, because I have so many tattoos, I was uh, thinking that it's better to just divide them into parts and instead of just showing you randomly all of my tattoos in one video because I would like to share a little bit about every tattoo. So I hope you like it. So tattoo number 11, my weird flower faces. As you can see, there are some leaves here because I had this before, I had this and I had this. So now I had to kind of fill this weird gap here. So I had one, two, three, four weird flowers with some cute faces on with some leaves here and there. And yeah, they were made by my colleague back then. His name was Pero. He owns a tattoo shop here in Oslo called Lucky Seven. And that was many years ago. I don't remember quite kind of why I did it. It was more like to fill up the gaps between the tattoos that I have started to get on my arm. And then I got my chest piece done. It was this skull, a pirate skull with, you see the pirate skull and the crossbones and kind of a bat wing in pink. And yeah, so without this, this was my chest piece. That I had done and a lot of people has commented like but you say that you don't want to do provoking tattoos but a skull on your chest isn't provoking oh my god okay if you're provoked by my skull uh, then you have issues <laughs> no you don't have to have issues I'm just saying like war violence drugs the real stuff in the world that is horrible that's provoking to me skulls and pirates are not provoking to me but then again sometimes during your life maybe you want to be provoking maybe you want to provoke someone maybe you want to be a little rebel and then later you don't want to be it anymore that's okay i think if i were to make a chess piece today i wouldn't choose this at all because now I'm, I'm more like into this, the feminine stuff and motherhood and, you know, I'm a different time in my life now. But this was made in that time when I was more like, yeah, I want to be a badass and I want to have a skull on my chest. And that's okay. I still like it. I still love it because it's a part of my story, my history. Tattoos are, you know, they're your stories, your history. And don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on others either. Let people just be people. And then I had another filler done. I hate calling it filler, but yeah, now it was a space here between my uh, witch and uh, the other stuff here. So I made this little pink bow. I didn't make it though. It was my my mentor, Birdie. Oh, and I have a picture when he made this bow. This is a typical me when I'm getting tattooed. Very cute. And then um, I had my first finger tattoo. It was this, this one. It was the Virgo sign on my ring finger. Because I am a Virgo, yes. And for you who likes astrology, yes, I love being organized and tidy and clean, but I'm a total mess when it comes to cleaning and organizing and... Ugh. And then I got some manga faces on my left lower arm it's just a close-up from when i'm tattooing so i'm actually wearing gloves and but you can see two of those faces there but i was just bored on a saturday at work 
and I decided to tattoo myself on the lower arm. So I found a book called How to Draw Manga and I just put four faces from this book on my arm and started tattooing it. And then I had the Madonna, my first Madonna portrait on my back. Now this is made from a tattoo artist at a convention in Oslo. I can't remember the year. She actually used to look really good when she was like freshly done. It was so nice, that portrait. I was so happy with it. But then just, I mean, 15 years later, it's not looking like that anymore. And it's, I mean, it's common. The lighter colors can actually fade a little bit. And I have gained so much weight since then and then lost some and gained some. And so my body has changed a bit. So tattoos, that's why I keep telling you, like tattoos will change. So don't be so hard on yourself. Just get a new one. <laughs> And then I had these stars done on my neck. Uh, you can still see them on the top there. Because I did love stars back then, they were very popular. Oh, and then I had a T. It's this big, a little letter T on my knee. It was actually done outside at a party and we were super drunk and we got some needles and ink and we just this was like hand poked in my knee and uh, we clean it out with just alcohol like vodka the T stood for Tarku which I have no idea what it means it was just kind of a secret club that they kind of invited me into and to be in this club you had to get female tattoo artist to tattoo a female and then if I if someone new were to come in then I would tattoo her and the girls had it on their knees and the guys had it had it on their finger somewhere and it was like a traditional thing which has to but I have no idea what it meant I can't remember anything from this other than we were outside and it was hand poked and we were super drunk and it meant tarko I have no idea what it means. And then I actually got the rest of my upper fingers made. So I had the, it was the symbol for music and it's a tattoo machine and it's a skull and then it's an L and an R put together for my name, Linda Rudal. And then it's the pentagram because of my love for witchcraft. And then it's the Chinese symbol for monkey because I was born in 1980, the year of the metal monkey. And then uh, this one was from before in the Virgo. And then this is Mercury, a planet that rules Virgos. And then as number 20, I had one of my favorite characters from a computer game. And that is Vivi from Final Fantasy. I played a lot of Final Fantasy back in the days. From 8 and up, I love Final Fantasy. So, and Vivi, he was a small, cute little magical creature that had magical powers, of course. I just think he was so cute, so I put it on my leg, on my calf, and I had several apprentices work on this for me as a project you know like oh do you want to practice you can fill in this little shape here or this little color here or you can do this line one more time so those were my next 10 tattoos my 11 to 20. this was my second part of my tattoos all over i hope you liked it and um if you like my videos in general subscribe if you like this video specifically there's a little like button and you're welcome to ask me any questions or comment below and um, then i will see you in my next video okay bye bye